Well, we do. We have our African turkey, otherwise known as a ground hornbill, perched quite precariously at this stage on a dead branch. And interesting about this is that it's by itself. Now, it's very uncommon to see ground hornbills on their own. They generally are in small groups together. And I've scanned all the other trees in this area, and alas, no sign of any other hornbills. So I don't know where the rest are. Maybe they're still down feeding in the last little chance to feed before the night closes in. And they'll then use these trees to roost. Remember, they are not animals that see very well at night. And there's lots of other kinds of predators that move around in the darkness of night. Things like leopard and lion that would love to have a snack on a ground hornbill. And so they go up into the trees just to stay nice and safe. The thing is, is that a dead tree is what they use because it's such a big wingspan. It's much easier to take off from said dead trees than ones with lots and lots of foliage on them so that's why you find them mostly in dead trees like this and they make for a nice silhouette unfortunately we've got about 20 million sticks in front of it which is obscuring the view so tatty you like the sounds that this bird makes they do have a very cool sound so the female says honey come to bed and the male says no not yet and i'll play it for you now so just give me two seconds to find it quickly of course, it doesn't sound really like that, and is in no way the way that I speak, but it is a nice sort of dull, not dull, hollow sound, I would call it. Now, let's find it quickly. Southern Ground Hornbill, there we go. So there we go, that's the call for the ground hornbill. And the female was the first part, the sort of lower sounding one, that was honey come to bed, and then the male at the end, no not yet. Now that one was a bit confusing because there was two females actually calling there and one male. So that would have thrown a curveball to some birders out there, or maybe to some of you that were trying to listen for the honey come to bed story. Now of course when you are learning to be a guide, this is how you get taught as people will try and teach you bird calls by using phrases that sound similar to the call and that helps you just to be able to remember and to kind of stick in your brain so that you can remember all the sounds out here because there are quite a few and so it just helps. Now I'm going to try and see if I can get a more an obscured view of our ground horn but I hope it doesn't fly. Uh, there's not really un any other way that I can go other than straight on this road so I'm going to try and see if we can't sneak past. Of course this is not a very quiet vehicle and so chances of sneaking are very slim but we shall try it seems as though we're going well so far Seb it's still there now, hopefully if we just go through past this tree we'll get a beautiful view no there went our ground hornbill I'm sorry buddy I didn't mean to chase you off your tree I was trying to sneak past without it flying and we got most of the way before it did fly and wasn't that spectacular that beautiful big wingspan with those black jet wings and those white tips and that kind of dropping down through that belt of Venus. Very cool to see.